With your connection to local agriculture, I'm Joanna Guza. Wisconsin ranks number one in ginseng production. I talked with the 76 Allison Dairyland, Ashley Hagenow. She shares how people enjoy Wisconsin ginseng. There are so many great uses for Wisconsin ginseng, and I've loved learning about ways that I can use Wisconsin ginseng in my daily life as a younger consumer of this product as well. But baseline, the products that result from ginseng production include your roots that you can then take and maybe boil down into tea, or it has some other uses as well. And the roots are also ground into powder. You have ginseng extract that is taken from the root. We can slice roots very thinly to use for steeping or cooking purposes. And so that's how ginseng is processed into. And from there, there are so many recipes that use ginseng, especially Wisconsin ginseng. And I'm seeing more of a trend in using ginseng in a lot of different recipes when it comes to our health and our nutrition. So one recipe that I have been enjoying to satisfy my sweet tooth a little bit is for a cherry morning smoothie. Now, this is a super unique way to use Wisconsin ginseng in maybe more traditional beverages that we might enjoy. And I personally can hardly detect that bitter flavor from the ginseng. It's there very faintly combined with all of the other ingredients, but that's a great way to consume Wisconsin ginseng maybe on the daily, every few days, once a week, and get those health benefits from ginseng consumption as well. Ginseng is a specialty root crop grown here in Wisconsin, and it takes three to five years before they harvest it, and it can't be grown in the same place twice. If you'd like to learn more about Wisconsin ginseng, you can check out the Wisco Ag News podcast. And that's your connection to local agriculture. Thanks for listening. I'm Joanna Guza.